Hey, Trader Weaves here. I know it's been a while. I kind of got caught up playing Animal Crossing, but I'm back to Pokemon now. And you may have noticed Pokemon Go has changed quite a bit in the past few weeks for some reason. But rather than go into those changes now, I'm just going to talk about the most recent April news. So happy April! From right now until April 7th is the tricky event. And what they're doing is featuring Pokemon that are known as tricksters or masters of disguise. So you'll see in the wild a lot more Ghastly, Haunter, Voltorb, Pseudowoodo, Ipom, Krogonk, and Fungus. We also have Shiny Krogonk out. And Shiny Pseudowoodo, while it was available if you could hatch a Shiny Bonsly, you can now catch those in the wild as well, at least for this event. If you take photos of your Pokemon, you will find some new photo bombs. I tested today and I managed to get two Krogonk and three Ipom, both of which can be shiny, none of which were shiny. So it's looking like you can get up to five photo bombs per day. Stunfisk is now in the game. You can find them in the wild if you're really lucky, which I was somehow, and you'll also be able to find them in 5kx. Other things in 5kx for this event are Ipom, Why Not, Bonsly, and Krogunk, again, all of which can be shiny. If you live somewhere where you can go outside, then you can get field research tasks giving Pseudo Wudo, Krogunk, or Stunfisk, and Ditto have been boosted, and you will also find them as two new Pokemon, Voltorb or Fungus. Aside from this week's event, we have the usual monthly changeover. Though, while you would expect Giovanni would have a new boss, they've decided that the boss, if you battle Giovanni, will still be Entei. Again, those of you who can go out and get field research, the 7 day breakthrough has changed, so instead of getting Ferris Seeds, you can now get Alolan Executor with a Stardust bonus. Pokemon Spotlight Hour on Tuesdays and Mystery Bonus Hour on Thursdays are still happening. No word on what those are, but I presume it's going to be the same kind of thing, so Tuesday will be a whole bunch of Pokemon spawns, and Thursday will be something like double Stardust or double XP and so on. One of the things you should definitely look out for while we're in lockdown is the shop. Every week Niantic are putting on a bundle that should help people who are playing from home. Previously we had a bundle of incense for one coin. This week we have 50 Great Balls for a single Pokecoin. Next week will probably be something else. In 5 Star Raids we have the new legendary Pokemon, which is Landorus. And Landorus is also a Go Battle League reward as long as you get to rank 4. You should know that it's a ground and flying type Pokemon, which means it's double weak to ice. So you want to get your Mamoswines, you want to get your Weavals, you want to get your Glaceon, and anything else that's ice with an ice move. Shiny Teddy Ursa was released last week, so if you see those cute little teddy bears around, don't forget to click on them, they might be green. And finally, you may have seen a notice on the Niantic blog that they are working on ways for us to do raids at home. That's still in development. So in the meantime, until that's released, they've extended the range that you can interact with gyms. You can tap the gym from twice as far as you used to be able to, which means that you can stand far away from each other when you're out. So good luck with Pokemon in April, play safe, and don't forget to wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds. Thank you for watching, goodbye!